Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the congregation and honored guests, welcome to First Presbyterian Church as we celebrate our bicentennial 200 years of God's grace. I think it's only fitting that uh, this morning we pay tribute to Patriot and ruling elder John Todd, who, like so many others, uh, sacrificed their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor that we could have the liberty to worship here today. And with that, without further ado, we will begin the program. Color Guard, present the colors. Mark time, march! Color guard, halt! Left, face! Our invocation today will be given by Reverend Todd Jenkins, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Terry Todd, descendant of John Todd, and the SAR Pledge to follow that by William H. Comer, Secretary of the Joseph Greer Chapter, Reverend. Let us pray. Creator of all that was, all that is, and all that is to come, we seek your presence here in our midst this morning. May our words and actions here and our lives from this day forward clearly reflect the divine spark of your grace that gives meaning and purpose to our existence. Amen. Preset Horns. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order for We, the SAR members, repeat the pledge with me. We descendants of the heroes of the American Revolution who by their sacrifices established the United States of America reaffirm our faith in the principles of liberty and our constitutional republic and solemnly pledge ourselves to defend them against every foe. Color Guard, whose colors? Color Guard, right and left face. Forward, march. And now, as is a custom at events such as these, we have several societies that will bring greetings to the crowd here today. And I will introduce them each individually. The first, representing the Kings Mountain Messenger Chapter, DAR, Regent Kristen Armitage. You may be seated. <laughs> well, good morning. On behalf of the Kings Mountain Messenger Chapter, Tennessee Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, I want to thank President-elect, 
Tennessee Society, Sons of the American Revolution, Colin Wakefield, and the Joseph Greer Chapter Compatriots for inviting us to this marker dedication for Revolutionary War soldier John Todd. We appreciate and we thank you for marking this Patriot's grave. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. And next we have representing the Tennessee Society War of 1812, President David Egan. David also happens to be uh, our Tennessee Society SAR State Registrar. Members and leaders of the First Presbyterian Church and to the Bicentennial Committee and to all the guests, I bring you greetings from the Tennessee Society of the War of 1812. We thank you for your interest in honoring one of the patriots of the American Revolution. As we like to remind our members and contacts that there would not have been a second war with Great Britain if there had not been a first one. As you know, we are in the beginning of the bicentennial of the War of 1812. Therefore, it is a good time to keep reminding the citizens of the United States of the sacrifices that were made to provide all of us with the greatest nation on earth and freedoms and opportunities enjoyed by no other nation. Thank you for allowing us to share this experience. Thank you, David. And next, bringing greetings from the Alabama Society is their most current past president, Mr. Dave Billings. President-elect Wakefield, descendants of the Patriot John Todd, compatriots, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to bring greetings from the Alabama Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. First, I'd like to thank Colin Wakefield for extending an invitation to the Alabama Society. Second, on behalf of the more than 1,000 members of the Alabama Society and its 16 chapters, we are proud to participate in this dedication ceremony for Revolutionary War Patriot John Todd. We understand it is part of the bicentennial celebration for the historic First Presbyterian Church of Fayetteville. If the past is indeed prologue, then a glimpse of the past can provide a source of wisdom and inspiration for the future. As we honor this patriot today, let us be mindful of his service to our nation, and let us rededicate ourselves to the principles that he held sacred. Third, the Alabama Society's chapters share a common cause with the chapters of the Sons of the American Revolution to perpetuate the memory of Revolutionary War patriots and inspire the community with a reverence for the principles of government founded by our forefathers. It was our forefathers who risked loss of life and property to unite, form, and defend our newly formed republic. And it was they who admirably answered the call to duty when it beckoned in the age of the musket. Therefore, I salute the efforts of the Joseph Greer Chapter of the Tennessee Society of the Sons of the American Revolution to dedicate graves with SAR markers. And furthermore, I wish you success with your dedication ceremony and many years of continued success. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. And now, bringing greetings from the National Society Southern District I'd like to introduce Vice President General Jim Maples. Jim. Thank you. <clears throat> President Damon, National Trustee Hollis, President-elect Wakefield, I bring you greetings from the President General of the National Society, Larry Major Kerr. It is indeed an honor to be with you here today 
in Tennessee, even though it is a little bit warm, as we honor this patriot of the American Revolution. This is really what we're all about. We did a grave marking last weekend in Alabama, and it was just about as hot. It was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But I always enjoy, I participated with the Tennessee Color Guard several times. I want to say the Tennessee Color Guard does an absolutely outstanding job. And it's always an honor to be here. So, Colin, I really appreciate being invited. And uh, you've done, you've got an excellent turnout today and an excellent ceremony as we honor this patriot of the American Revolution. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. And last but not least, bringing greetings from our own Tennessee Society. It's Tennessee Society State President Charles Damon. Charles. Thank you, Confederate Dakota. One might want to stay here a little while, it's in the shade. <laughs> it is my privilege not only to be the president of the Tennessee Society, but also to bring you greetings for the compatriots throughout the state of Tennessee. I congratulate the First Presbyterian Church of Fayetteville on its 200 year anniversary. What a marvelous history is within the walls of this church itself. And we congratulate you and your bicentennial. One of our goals this year in the Tennessee Society, as is nationally, is to continue to locate, preserve, mark, and document Patriots' grave sites. The call in the next step is to ensure that this gets documented on the national website with a photograph and GPS coordinates so in the future folks will not have any problem in finding Patriot Todd. Thus this activity is consistent with our goals in the Tennessee Society. We thank the Joseph Greer chapter for making the grave of Rev for marking the grave of Revolutionary Patriot Todd, which will be uncovered shortly. On this 144th Memorial Day weekend, we want to remember all of our military throughout the years that have continued to protect our freedom and our way of life as established by our patriots. May God bless this event, and may God bless America. Now I'd like to ask Descendant Terry Todd to come up and maybe say a few words about his patriot ancestor. Terry? I don't know how I'm going to speak without my slides. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you all for inviting me down. This is a culmination of many, many years of research on my part and, and my family's part. And uh, this is just so wonderful that you've invited us down and I want to thank you again. So. And uh, it just gives me pause to think about the, the, the things that John Todd went through in the Revolutionary War, fighting against the Indians and against the British and so forth, that it just baffles the mind. So thank you again. <clears throat> we have heard about John Todd's life, a story tied directly to the founding of our nation, a story of courage, sacrifice, service. If I did my math correctly, John Todd served in the Kentucky militia while he was in his late 20s and even early 30s, but by the time he came to Fayetteville, he was quite elderly, at least by 19th century standards. He would have been 63 when Fayetteville was founded and 66 when this congregation began to meet in the log courthouse on the square, and by 1817, five years into the congregation's existence, he would have been 71, which is when he began his service as one of the spiritual leaders of this congregation and served faithfully for 12 years until his death in 1829. It surely was a different world then. 
But John Todd saw quite a few changes during the course of his lifetime, much more than just the change of scenery from Kentucky to Tennessee. He saw a nation formed, a community formed, a church formed. As we join with the Sons of the American Revolution to dedicate this marker and remember John Todd, and as we celebrate 200 years of this congregation's existence, I challenge all of you gathered here to consider how you can faithfully live your life in service to God, community, and country. And I challenge you to find ways to put those into practice that you might be a part of revealing God's grace to all generations now and forevermore. Now we'll have Descendant Todd and past Tennessee State Society President and National Trustee Rick Hollis place a read. Reverend Jenkins, you lead us in the benediction. Let us pray. We have participated, O oh God, in the dedication of a patriot marker this morning. May you, the one who gives breath and meaning to us all, be exalted by this and all the purposes of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Retrieve hollows. Right and left face, hard. Forward, hard. Our SAR recessional will be led by Joseph Greer chapter member and World War II veteran Jim Van Cleve. Jim? Until we meet again, let us remember our obligations to our forefathers who gave us our Constitution, Bill of Rights, an independent Supreme Court, and a nation of free men. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's ceremony. Thank you very much. <laughs>